Hey guys, what is up? It is a Thursday. It's like 3.21 in the afternoon. I am headed home. I'm like 10 minutes away from home. It was a long freaking day today. I think, let's see, I clocked in at 5.45 in the morning and I clocked out like two minutes two minutes before three o'clock something around there um, just a lot of I had to bake today there was a lot of baking that needed to be done ridiculous um, so last night I finished Pet Cemetery finally um, <laughs> I would call that the scariest Stephen King book that I've read so far I still feel like the stand was the scariest to me and I think part of it is because with the stand if you've read the stand before um, it has to do with like this disease that starts to wipe out the universe not the universe I don't know what I'm talking I'm delirious um, wipe people out so to me that's kind of scary because like think about it, it could potentially happen, right? Like it could be something that could happen. Whereas like Pet Cemetery, eh, couldn't happen. You know what I mean? Like it's creepy. Like the ending part is creepy. I think that was like the creepiest part, but I don't know. I did enjoy it though. I'm looking forward to watching the movies. I think um, Saturday, Dad and I are going to go to go see my grandma at her, you know, her grave because her birthday is Monday. So I'm going to go there and like clean up her grave, clean up my grandfather's grave and probably get something to eat and then come home and maybe we'll watch the old Hut Cemetery. And then as soon as the new one comes out and it's available for me to watch, I'm going to watch that one. So I'll be able to compare the three, like I did for It. You know, I read It, watched the old one, and then I watched part one of the new one. So, I don't know. I liked it, but again, The Stand is still my favorite so far. Leave me a comment below and let me know what Stephen King book I should read next. I have a couple on my shelf. I have Christine. I have The Outsiders, I have Apt Pupil, there's another one, I have a couple of them, I can't think of one, but leave me in the comments below what I should read next, what Stephen King book I should read next, I'll even like, if it's that big of a vote, then I'll, I'll go get it, <clears throat> so, yeah. That's what's going on. For some reason, I'm losing my voice. Well, I, I should say, I usually get sick around this time, like, but it's like allergies and then a little bit of laryngitis kind of thrown in there, which is cute. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to continue driving home, take a nap before I have to go to Zumba because I'm tired. I'm dang exhausted. Baking for nine hours is exhausting. Grandpa's back at home for a leader. Oh, remember that happened when the stuff was up there? Yeah. Look. Mmm. Huh? <laughs> you put your cackles on? So far, 10 milliliters. Milligrams. Milliliters. You need, you need 20. Mm. 20 and a half. Oh, For added excitement. Ooh, excitement. That doesn't look very excited on your face. Ooh. <laughs> Add two to four. Squeezes of the glow in the dark potion. Should I get them? Should I get four? How 
I never bought the four. I only has like four by tens. No, two to four squeezes like drops. Oh. Gotta listen. Huh? Hello, Romanoff. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, does it say the mix? Add five large spoonfuls of salt into the beaker and stir quickly. When white particles start to form, stop stirring. How many? Let's do four, because that's a bigger spoon than what came with the thing. Yeah. Two. Three. What are particles? Four. Start stirring, start stirring, start stirring, start stirring. What are particles? Okay, and stop! Are we stirred all the way? A little bit more. Okay, right. now it says, I'm gonna work quickly. Get the solid mixture wow. from the beaker out and try to form a ball. Put on my hands? Yep, or do you want color? Those are the rules, bub. Go wear your coat or goggles. You're gonna clean that coat up. Oh. Duh. <laughs> Is it forming? Not really. So it did say that. Um, it's very delicate, not very thick. It, if it does not work the first time, add more spoonfuls of salt. Like. What's in there? Here. Good morning, people of the internet. It is Monday morning. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. A little after 5 o'clock, so it's 5.12. I'm headed into work. Also, <laughs> borderline trying to upload a video at the same time. I tried to do it last night, and the phone was just like, nope, nope. So... I'm trying to get the video up so that when I'm on my break I can do all the, like, I don't know, the tags and stuff. Um, finished last night, I finished the second book in the Pucked series. I like that one better than the first one. Even though I found the character of Violet in the beginning, the first book, to be very similar about how my humor is so but I liked I liked Buck and Sonny's story line so to say so now I'm definitely going on to Red Queen and focusing on Red Queen um, so far I like it I'm thinking kind of like I could be wrong. I'm literally like two chapters and that's it. But I'm getting very much um, Children of Blood and Bone vibes. I know that Red Queen was out before Children of Blood and Bones, but that's what it's reminding me of because I read Children of Blood and Bone first. Um, so I have that. I also got uh, what's the new book? I'm trying to think. So I have Amazon Prime and you can do like a free book every month and one of the books is, uh, I can't, I really can't think of what it's called right now, I'm like blanking, but it's by Emily R. King and I've read her 100th series and I liked it so I was happy to see that that was one of the books you could choose for the monthly thing so I want to squeeze that in somehow also want to read The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I have some plans for this month. However, you know what a slow reader I am and it doesn't always work out very well. 
Um, also, stay tuned because Wednesday is the Brockport Purple Run. I do it every year. It's so much fun. So I will be taking you along for that. And, oh, I don't know what else. I mean, really, life is an adventure, so... I have the time, don't even know what's going on. But all right guys, have a beautiful Monday. I will talk to you guys real soon after I'm done with work. So real quick update, I am home. It's five o'clock. Frank is running in the background as per usual because I'm obsessed with Frank. Look at Frank. Look how handsome Frank is. Look how handsome he is. Go Frank. Do your thing. Um, so <laughs> crazy update. Apparently I'm teaching pound by myself today. Now the last time I thought I was supposed to teach pound, I didn't actually have to teach pound by myself. Thank God, because I, I was not ready. Today, however, there's no escaping it. I am teaching pound by myself. I feel a little bit more confident. Uh, Summer and I each learned two new songs, so I have more in my repertoire that repertoire, not repertoire, repertoire, what's that word? So I feel a little bit more confident. Will I mess up today? Of course I'm going to mess up. I mess up in toning. I mess up in regular Zumba and how, Frank, are you having issues? I'm trying to film here. Anyways, so I'm not as nervous. Still nervous. Gonna mess up. Frank just went on. Oh, okay. Come on out, Frank. You're a strange child, Frank, but I love you. Um, so yeah. A little nervous about that. I think what I'm going to wear to make me feel a little bit more rock and rolly, kick ass y kind of is my star leggings. I don't have anything on now, but my star leggings and then the goth Alice in Wonderland tank top my sister gave me. That's going to be a kick butt outfit. Yeah. So nervous, but I'm like content with teaching on my own. It's, it had to have happened at some point. It will have had to have happened. So bring it on, I say. Well, pound class is over with. It was I didn't mess up. Thank God. I feel like now that I'm over that hump and I've done it and I did it without messing up, um, I'm, I'm good to do it. Like forever. However, I don't know if I mentioned this uh, before I left. At some point while I was at Sips, I pinched a nerve in my back. And of course, doing pound and Zumba toning did not help it. So, I'm in quite some pain currently. And, uh, I don't know, man. Getting old when you do aerobics, it's, it's not always good. So, not sure what I did. Hopefully it just will go away by the morning. I'm going to try and take like an Epsom salt bath. See if that will help. I don't know. If not, I'm going to have my friend Shamar kind of try and loosen it up a little bit or something. I don't know. I have a purple run on Wednesday and I cannot be like this. So... I'm gonna go home. Hopefully Don has grilled the chicken that I put out for him. I know he was going across the street to help our neighbor, so there could be no dinner waiting for me when I get home. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go chill the rest of the night, 